KTC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hope your weekend's off to a great start and you were able to find a way to try and cool off as for the second day in a row we hit 95 degrees on the thermometer. Heat indices getting into those triple digits and it's just going to continue to get hotter as we go through the summertime months. So it is here and it is not going away anytime soon. But it does look like we could have the chance for some increasing showers a little later on in the upcoming work week. But taking a look across the country, area of high pressure continues to be in control in the northern Gulf of Mexico. That is keeping us high and dry with the summertime temperatures, but you do see more severe weather is making its way through the Great Lakes region as we have some severe thunderstorm watches and warnings up along the Toledo over the Cleveland area. Also, we have some watches back through Missouri heading towards the St. Louis area, and then we have more weather back over in New Mexico and the western portions of Texas, but all that activity is going to continue to stay away from us due to that area of high pressure, and that means we'll continue to be on the dry and hot side in the coming days. You can see we had a few of those puffy cumulus clouds work in across the area for our Saturday, but those are now making their way off to the east. We did have a few pop up showers develop east of Baton Rouge earlier this afternoon, and we did have one lone shower develop in St. Mary Parish down towards the Patterson area, but most of us were able to stay dry. Just lots of heat across the Cadiano temperatures getting into those mid 90s. But what we're beginning to watch is it is the first day of the Atlantic hurricane season, and Mother Nature right on cue has given us an area of disturbance that we are keeping in a close eye on in the Bay of Campeche. Earlier this morning it did fire up and it had a little bit of maybe some rotation trying to get going, but you can see during the afternoon starting to get sheared apart a little bit, so that is some good news. It is beginning to weaken a little bit, but still 60% chance of development over the next five days, and it's going to stay relatively stationary in the Bay of Campeche and southern Gulf of Mexico in the coming days. Slowly, I think this moisture makes its way in along eastern Mexico, and then will begin to work its way up the Texas coast before eventually getting us at least a chance for some showers by about Wednesday into Thursday, but in the mere mean term, not looking too bad. We'll wake up to dry conditions with some clouds around tomorrow morning. And then during the afternoon, a mix of clouds and sun, maybe a stray shower down along the Gulf Coast. Tomorrow evening, we could have a wave of a few scattered showers, try the work in, but I think the model's overdoing this a little bit here. I think I'm only going to go about 10% for the rain chances for our Sundays. I think that area of high pressure keeps and suppresses that activity. By Monday, though, you see by the afternoon, a little better chance for maybe a few scattered showers again along the coast areas as we will have a weak front trying to push into the area, but I think for the most part the next couple drives are going to be on the drier side. Even in the Tuesday, I think we stay mostly dry as far as our weather can can't rule out one or two pop up showers during the afternoons, but I do think relatively speaking for most of Acadiana, it's going to be a couple dry days to start off the work week. Moisture levels, though, coming out of the Gulf will start to increase by Wednesday, so I do think up to about a 30% chance for at least a few isolate the scattered showers pushing into Acadiana by Wednesday afternoon. But you can see there's that slug of Gulf moisture beginning to make its way up the Texas coast by Thursday. So Thursday morning, we could be waking up to a few isolate the scattered showers, but I think by Thursday afternoon, better chance for some more moderate the heavy showers pushing into Acadiana. Right now, latest model keeps that low a little bit out to the Gulf, so I think the heavier rains at least might miss us to the south, at least according to this latest model run. But heading into Friday morning, you do see a few more scattered showers first thing out the door but by Friday afternoon. Most of the rain is now pushing off to the east and congealing with this other low pressure system up to our north where they're going to bring more heavy rains back through Oklahoma and Nebraska. A little too early to pinpoint just how much rainfall we are looking at, but I would say one to two inches right now looks to be a good bet with that system, but hopefully it can kind of dry out a little bit and we cannot see a whole lot of rain with that moving into the second half of the week, although we could use a little bit of rain after the dry weather we've had the last couple of weeks. But in the meantime, a very summer like evening warm and muggy 74 for that overnight low, some clouds around and then an for our Sunday, a great day to head out to the pool and try and cool off as we're running it up to 96 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Those seen as these up to around 104 degrees, so grab the sunglasses and try to stay cool tomorrow. 95 on Monday with that slightly better chance at 20%. Then you can see the rain chances beginning to ramp up as we head towards Thursday and into Friday. But then beyond that, back to more of the summertime pattern with temperatures in the lower 90s with about a 20-30% chance for a few hit or miss showers during the afternoon. But it does look like Thursday will be the best chance for some rain. All right. Thank you, Eric.